Hi, I'm Mike DeGreasley and welcome to Cracking CGI. I had an email from Agman666 asking if I could actually do a tutorial on modeling the canopy area of modern jet fighters. Okay, well, um, we've got some reference material here. This is an image which Agman666 um, gives a link to. I don't know how we pronounce this, so I'm going to leave it. But as we can see, the canopy here is um, fairly bulbous, but it's got a flat front. And I think that's more prevalent in this diagram there. Okay, well, I'll give a general tutorial on how we can actually create these. So, let's get cracking. So, let's just throw these down here for a little bit. Hmm. And we're going to start off in our create panel. Let's start off with a box. And here we are. Let's drag this out. Start out first of all. Um, I'm going to take this down to one as far as the length and the width is concerned. So let's now right click, convert it to an editable poly convert editable poly pop up here into our editable poly there and we're going to go down to polygon alt middle mouse key let's select polygon there make sure ignore back facing is ticked and let's also select this polygon here and press delete there we are, starting out. OK, let's pop into vertices there. Select that and that. R for our scale tool. And let's just scale that down a little bit there. W for our select and move tool. And I want to pull that back somewhere like that for a moment. And grab these two verts there. Let's go R for our scale tool and pull that to about there. Let's now pop up and open up our graphite modeling tool for a little bit. Might not need it just yet but uh, now it's open. Right, well, let's have a quick pan around. Yep, might need to sort of bring these back so W for our select and move tool bring that down to there a little bit pull these over a little bit more like that maybe these two we can R for our scale bring those in a little bit there okay I'm going to pop down here for polygon and then come down uh, we'll select that polygon first of all just select that tool layer and what we'll do is actually put an inset into it say OK on that one just pan around a little bit more now up to our graphite modeling tools let's go edit and our good friend there swift loop ok let's bring that down let's have a look one there, bring that down just here, round about there. That's fine for that. Pop up there for that tool there, deselect that. And now, what I'm going to do is actually apply a turbo smooth very quickly. So let's apply that. Now, as we can see, it's not quiet there. Let's just try a few iterations. About four. Four iterations. That's not looking too bad actually so we'll stay with that. Let's now right click and we're going to convert this to an editable poly and that should then collapse our modify stack. There we go. 
okay so I don't really need to see the mesh here now so let's press F4 to remove that now the key to actually getting some of these shapes correct is actually by popping into our modifier list and selecting one of the freeform deformers okay so let's have a look at the 3x3x3 first of all there we go let's open the FFD up there and we're going to look at the control points okay so let's have a look at this first of all well what I'd like to do is have this base section here in the middle actually brought out a little bit so let's just move that round all I'm going to do now is select those control points in the middle now there should be three one two three there we go let's go R for our scale tool and let's pull that out a little bit so we can see that we're just moving that out there do we need to do the same with the middle section well it looks as though we do so let's grab those three there we've got them great and we can now pull that out and as you can see there it's starting to bulge in that middle section so by moving these and manipulating these points we can achieve our different shapes okay let's drag that there bring that in a little bit that's fine there once we start getting the shape um, to how we more or less want it let's just uh, drag those through there because what I want to do is actually bring that out a little bit more there okay that's looking alright so far now that we've got a shape more or less how we want it we're now going to collapse this stack here so right click convert to and we're going to convert it to an editable poly so that's now collapsed it well the shapes more or less getting there but we can actually apply another freeform deformer so let's pop into our section here pop down and I think this time we'll try a 4x4x4 four by four by four. there we go select that let's open it up we'll say control points and now we have quite a few more control points to play around with um, that one and I want this one down here so that's control just grab that does that look better yep okay let's pull that in a little bit more what about the profile from the side view well I think that could actually do with coming down in that area so let's drag these sections those points there W for our select and move tool let's just bring that down there not too much and select those three there and pull those up a little bit now as you can see I'm not really working with any reference material um, I'm just basically shaping this at the moment using freeform deformers and let's have a look there at the base let's select those points and you can see that the flaying out a little bit there let's go R for our scale tool and just pull those in a little bit there and of course this may seem a little bit um, too broad here at the base so let's grab those two again with our scale tool and let's pull those in also We've got that so we can select all four there and move it in a little bit more so it's tighter as you can see what we're doing here is just selecting our points and shaping our geometry let's just have a look at 
this middle section here. Um, yep. Okay, just select those sections there. Scale tool. I think it bulges out a little bit too much in that area. So with our scale tool there, let's just pull those in. There we go. Okay, well, I hope that's giving you um, some insight as to how you can actually model the canopy sections of your aircraft. Let's just drag those for a little bit, all of them, and pull those in just a little bit more. There we go. Well, let's collapse that, convert to an editable poly. Then all we need to do is pop up to our material editor. Um, so like that, let's apply it. What's the opacity? Let's bring that down a little bit. 23, say. Okay for that. And then it would be a simple case of creating the support brackets for the actual canopy section along here. So, freeform deformers is the key. And I hope that answers your question, Agman666. Okay, I'll catch you all later.